Craig Waters. I work in the solutions engineering team here at Pure Storage and I cover Cisco solutions. Hey, and I'm Kyle Grossmiller. I'm a solutions architect and I work on VMware products at Pure Storage. And today what we're going to do is um, we're going to walk through the life cycle of uh, deployment of FlashStack for a uh, customer use case. And what we want to do here is actually go through the process of using smart config to initially deploy and configure the FlashStack hardware all the way up to the operating system, which in this case is going to be uh, vSphere. Um, and then we're going to hit into um, VMware Cloud Foundation and talk about the actual deployment of the uh, domains, the management and workload domains. Um, and then we're going to finally go through to a day two scenario and talk about the integration points that we've got with the different products that make up the solution stack. So day zero, we've done our design and we've architected how the, the solution looks like. And then we're in day one and we're actually actually going through the deployment process of uh, FlashTag. So the first phase of that deployment would be to use Smart Config. And step one really is around doing the racking and stacking, which you typically do. You know, um, we rack our Nexus switches, our MDS fiber switches, um, and then we do our UCS and then our flash array, uh, have all that connected up, ready to go. And then what we do next is we take the out of band management interfaces from each of the devices and we connect them up into a native VLAN, a standalone switch. Um, and then the third phase really then is to deploy the smart config virtual appliance. And then that will use the out-of-band management network to go and discover all the components that make up FlashStack, again, the, the compute network and storage. Part of that discovery process, then we initialize each device and put a, you know, a specific configuration on around their IP addresses and all those sort of things. And then what we'll actually do is then deploy uh, UCS, Next, and MDS using workflows uh, to configure things like, you know, virtual port channels, the service profiles for each of the UCS servers. And then finally, what we do is we then lay over a version of vSphere onto all the compute nodes. You know, they could be rack servers, they could be blade servers. So they're all set ready. They've all got uh, vSphere deployed on them. And then they'll be ready to hand over to the VMware Cloud Foundation configuration, ready to use Cloud Builder. Exactly. What Smart Config gives us at the output is a bunch of different ESXi hosts that basically are ready to be used within the VMware Cloud Foundation ecosystem. And one of the really neat things about VMware Cloud Foundation is to really automate some of the mundane and repetitive tasks that an ESXi administrator up until this point has had to deal with. So the first step is to deploy the Cloud Builder OVA. Now that Cloud Builder OVA can be, I'm gonna use X's instead of checks, oh, but, nice work, man. <laughs> but uh, that Changing Cloud, it. yeah, I gotta mix it up. Yep. That Cloud Builder OVA can be deployed on VMware Fusion, it can be deployed on a pre-existing VMware environment. Um, and what you get from that is you download a JSON file or an Excel spreadsheet. And within that Excel spreadsheet, you populate it with a lot of your environmental details, you know, naming conventions, VLANs, data store names, um, all that stuff that's really required to deploy that initial management domain uh, within VMware Cloud Foundation. VMware Cloud Foundation uh, runs on top of vSAN, I should mention. Um, but then once that management domain has been stood up, it's a minimum of four uh, ESXi hosts with vSAN included. Um, then you're free to start to deploy workload domains. Now, workload domains is where Pure Storage has a lot more direct integration. Um, of course, with that being said, there's no reason why you cannot hook up Pure Storage to a management domain after it's been deployed as well. Um, but one of the really neat features within the workload domain ecosystem is that VMware in their 3.9.0 release of VMware Cloud Foundation has given you the ability to natively add fiber channel uh, external storage arrays to your workload domains as you deploy them. Now, you might be asking, what about, you know, what if I've got a nice SCSI array? Well, fortunately, there's a method to deploy that as well via the VMware Cloud Foundation NFS deployment workflow. So multiple options. Uh, it's, it's really slick because you can easily spin up and spin down your workload domain deployments. You can add hosts to them. You can add, you can add clusters to your workload domain deployment. So really a lot of flexibility in terms of adding resources and removing resources. And perhaps a really neat thing, kind of moving over to, to day two deployments, is VMware Cloud Foundation is also a complete lifecycle management tool. So not only will it deal with deploying and you know, standing up all of these vCenter instances and NSXT, NSXV, um, it will also, at the end of the day, enable you to upgrade and manage those via VMware Lifecycle Manager. So it's a super, super slick way to automate all those previously tedious things that you would have to individually manage and upgrade. 
The other neat thing is that, you know, as you do move on to day two, you know, operations management, uh, you can then start to consume pure storage via our, you know, very rich ecosystem of content packs and plugins. And within the vRealize suite, we have a really great set of content packs and other features. Uh, vRealize Automation, vRealize Operations, vRealize Operations Manager, and Login Site. All of those things are uh, have a lot of interaction with pure storage. Uh, we also have the vSphere HTML5 plugin as well as the old Flash client if you're still using that uh, within pure storage. And we also have a super robust uh, Power CLI and PowerShell gallery plugin as well that will allow you to do more REST-driven, more API-driven command line type operations and manage your pure storage array that way if, if that's what you're doing within your org. Mm. Craig, why don't you walk us through the last couple of these? Sure. So, uh, you know, to round it all off, you know, we've talked a lot about the VMware integrations that we've got um, with Pure Storage at the moment. But obviously, you know, we have other components that we need to manage as well. So obviously, storage is a big uh, consideration for that management. And so what we've got Pure One, which is our cloud-based management product that we use to manage fleets of uh, Pure Storage products uh, in, in a customer's environment. And then lastly, as well, Intersight. So obviously, what we've done as well with Cisco is uh, we've been working on the integration of Intersight. And Intersight is Cisco's cloud-based management product as well, very similar to Pure One, but obviously focusing more on the compute and network aspects, not on the storage aspects. Yeah. So what we can do with FlashStack is we can bring all this integration together and really help our customers with their day two ongoing operational requirement. Absolutely. So I think it's this whole ecosystem, right, really gives you an end-to-end -end solution for bringing up your FlashStack environment and again, not having to deal with some of those traditionally mundane tasks. So if I'm a storage or systems administrator, now I can focus on the more important things like bringing better efficiencies to the business. And so to wrap this up, really, um, I think it's really important to understand, you know, we've got smart config with the initial hardware deployment. We've got VCF looking after the VMware integrations and delivering the VMware configuration. And then obviously, you know, from a day two operational perspective, we have all the integration points that Pure have, you know, worked quite hard on you know, around the vRealize and the and the snap-ins, and, and then obviously Pure One and Intersight to really round off a solution, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, and I think what we've got here is a really unique value proposition, you know, that, that really automates a lot of those traditionally boring and mundane tasks yeah. and enables you as a system administrator to, to work on things that really matter more for the business. We hope you have some value out of the solution that we're putting together. Thanks very much, yeah.